Uh, Joe Hargrave, um, from Great Open Door, doing work in Harlow, tell me a little bit about the work you're doing here. Okay, well I work for Great Open Door which is a Christian charity and we go into primary schools in, in Harlow to share the good news of, of Jesus um, and we go into about half the schools at the moment. Uh, it's slowly picked up since uh, Covid restrictions eased. Uh, but we have a, a really high impact, fun, energetic assembly that we share in all these different schools. It runs for about 45 minutes um, and we completely engage the children in the topic. Um, well, so what's a typical example of what you do in an assembly? Oh, okay. Well, let's talk about the current assembly, which is on resilience, which I think is a really good idea at the moment because things are so chaotic in home lives, school lives and prospects in general. So we're teaching the children about resilience and we'll call back on stories that they may know. We talk about Disney. Did you know how resilient Walt Disney was? He actually got fired from his first job because he wasn't very artistic and creative. Uh, we talk about older characters like Robert the Bruce and how he saw a spider trying seven times. Uh, to build a, a web and that was his inspiration to go out and uh, I think it was the Battle of Bannockburg he then won. You might need to edit that he out. He did, he was back yeah. then. <laughs> William Wallace was, yeah. uh, was Sterling Bridge. Yeah, okay, <laughs> good. Um, I've lost my throne, my, th my flow now. So you go into assemblies, one of the things at the moment is resilience. Yes. How is that, you mentioned examples like Walt Disney, Robert Bruce, using modern examples but how does that relate, relate to, the, to the faith message? Okay good question. We taught about resilience in the Bible that we should have faith and build on our faith and be resilient about our faith and uh, we share with the children a uh, memory verse which says that God has uh, plans for us that the children will know, explaining how that links in with the Bible message and sharing with them, you know, that life is a joy and God is on your side. How long have you been doing this in Harlow and how's it going? Great Open Door have been doing this for 19 years. I have been doing it with Great Open Door for a couple of years, but I have been involved with children's evangelism for over 10 years in different areas. And how do you say what you're doing how do you gauge success it's a very difficult thing to gauge but you can tell when you're in a room if you've got the children's attention um, they're not polite about it children are either completely absorbed in what you're doing and enthusiastic and joining in or they're fidgeting and looking away and we very rarely have the fidgeting and the looking away so I think we engage the children, so we're successful with that. In terms of sharing the gospel message, we're sowing seeds. We're not there to convert children there and then. We're just there to share with them the joy that we have. And later on in life, hopefully, it will bring meaning to them. So it could be, it could be a, a 10 year old uh, student at that primary school. You've come in, you said you were they're not exactly going to stand up next day and go, you know what, but it might be a few years down the line or wherever, and they'll go, is that this assembly once when I was 10? Is that sort of what you're hoping for? That would be lovely, but I think it's even more invisible than that. You know, you leave children with a feeling. I think they might remember seeing happy Christians in their school and think, I like some of that, you know? They might remember the message of resilience. Life can be tough, things can be hard, but keep going. God's on your side, he's rooting for you. That feeling that there's hope, that there's help, that there's a future. They're intangible things. It's not something that's a quick fix. It's something that has to go in and then settle on your heart.